You have to. We were oh, I've seen this one. This. No, you cannot do this. Oh no. You can't do this. You can't. Please, you cannot do this. We were here. It's so bad. All these people. No, because we couldn't hear anything with all the people in the. Oh, that's so, so, that sucks so bad. I have seen, I've seen parts of this clip. The kid gets very upset, which is very sad in the end. Um, Cause they missed their flight and that does suck. And the kid wants to go on vacation. Who doesn't want to go on their trip? I get the stress of missing a flight like that. It's the worst feeling in the world. I've actually never had it happen. So I don't know why I'm like acting like I know the feeling. Like I can just imagine the feeling like that. I almost missed a flight and that was the worst feeling ever. So anyways, this sucks. The world. Have you ever missed a flight? Tell me if you've ever missed a flight. I've been close to missing a flight and the stress, unbearable. Well, they won't let me buy a big bottle of water. Sir, I don't think you're gonna be happy with us today. Maybe we should take another I flight. love Delta. I've had a great experience. I've spent lots and lots of money at Delta. I want a bottle of water. I'll yeah, buy one huh? or I'll get one. Either way, I just want a bottle of water. I don't huh? see how this is a big problem. It's water, it's not like, Vodka. It's just water. Are you very calm the rest of the flight? I'm, I'm very confused. calm. I just want like water. Land, I will land the airplane middle of this country, have you removed by police if I have to. What? I honestly don't know who the entitled one is because the pilot is coming across a little more entitled than the person asking for a water bottle, but I haven't seen the whole thing, you know? But they've said, like, we enjoy Delta. I, I've flown with you many times. I spent a lot of money with Delta. I just want a bottle of water. I'm curious why they can't have a bottle of water. There's more to the story here, but like, to me, it's like, I think, like, just get someone a bottle of water. It's water. He's not asking for a bottle of wine. What, what is our corporate number and what is our name? Because I'm calling in on yeah, yeah. There is two on the You don't know her name, but you the manager? I'm not a manager, I was just speaking to So what's your like, name? I, I mean, I could just describe y'all, they gonna know exactly. You telling me that you don't know, and that got you on camera recording, you telling me you, know, you don't know your employee name, what? and when I call corporate, she I'm gonna let you, and I'm recording your face, you telling me you don't know her name. I'm sure she got on a badge. No, she wow. So you can't, you, you telling me you don't know her name. So y'all don't have no kind of IDs or nothing, telling nobody who y'all are or nothing. Oh my gosh. Wow, okay, this this man's was so calm and respectful, like props to you. I mean, I haven't seen the whole clip, but like in this clip, he's calm for someone who's being so sassy to him and they don't have name tags. I was like, wait a second, employees wear name tags, but maybe they don't anymore. When I was at Tim Hortons, we had to wear a name tag, but I also heard they were stopping that for like safety reasons, you know, because Tim Hortons has a lot of young girls working there. I mean, I was 15 when I started working there and like to have your name on your tag, like, I don't know, face to name could be dangerous. So maybe they stopped. I don't think you should have to give your name out. I'm an employee. What does my name have to do with anything? Like you can speak to my manager and say that girl right there gave me like a problem, but I don't think you need to know my name and my personal info. She's not the manager I am. Yeah, you're just placing the rice out of the What? You're just placing the rice out of the ground. Give me my money, lady. You took it, you ain't giving me my food. Listen to me, sir. You're not going to get loud with me. I'm getting your money. Do you need to call out someone down here? Please. Call them. I will. Because you took my money and you ain't giving it back. And you're playing f***ing games. She is getting you your money. Oh, my Lord. Dang. Like, she is getting you your money. I can, like, I'm, I can hear the employee explaining and she's she said she's like i'm giving you your money what are you so angry about i'm giving you your money well this is stupid and i want my money back i i'm so happy i don't work in fast food anymore oh i will never forget when i moved to toronto the first time back in 2012 because i'm not from here originally i worked at tim hortons in a pretty roughish area and some guy came in and he was so mad about his order i don't know he was upset about his order he was mad at me i will send it back he straight up said that he was going to fight me and kick my booty i'm going to kick your butt twice as hard after my shift and he's like i'll be waiting outside and he literally waited outside the restaurant all day for me to get off my shift so my manager actually walked out with me and walked me to the streetcar and made sure that i got on and i was safe and everything like that it was crazy crazy next time you why would I do that? It's a, it's huh? a public setting. 
you've been living under a rock? Do you know about coronavirus? Yeah, uh, and I know you're not wearing a mask, so you clearly don't care about coronavirus. You also know that I stay away from people. How am I supposed to know that? It's a public bench. If you don't want someone to sit next to you, then get up. You're rude. You're rude. You're I saw the disgusting look you gave me and my friend. Wow, crazy. I'm curious what everyone thinks about this. Cause when I see bench outside, I do ask, usually like in a public place, I just say, do you mind if I sit here? But I kind of just do that anyways, even before the pandemic. It's just like, do you mind? Cause it's kind of like, it's a bench. You're kind of close to, together. I don't know if they're waiting for someone, you know, who's gonna sit there. So I don't know. But at the end of the day, it's also like, if you don't have a mask on, like you can't be that worried, right? I don't know, this one's, let me know what you think. Path, a Karen stormed into our Christmas party. White people really have all the audacity. Wait, what? She went in their house? I thought, I didn't, okay, listen. I thought this was like a public space. Like, you know, when you're at your workplace, like you have like an open conference room or something and you have your work party there, your Christmas party. No, this was a neighbor that straight up walked into someone's house, lady. You can't just do that. Wow, the audacity. I'm gonna miss my, I'm gonna miss my, they said I have a spark night. So I can, I'm gonna miss my $500 spark night. So I can't. Is she on FaceTime? Is she drunk? I'm not getting off this plate. I'm not getting off this plate. I'm even bachelor's. Oh, you gotta tape me, make this viral. Oh, here we go. <gasps> she spit. I heard her spit. I heard her spit. Oh, I can't even understand what she was saying to them on FaceTime. She kind of sounds drunk and I'm wondering if that's what it was. Like she had like a freak out moment cause she's intoxicated. And now she's out here spitting on people. Ooh. I mean, I don't have patience for a lot of things, but spit, definitely not. Mm. Someone spits on me like, <whistles> oof, I would go to jail. Get out of those people down there. This is goddamn bullshit. Get your shit together. <gasps> oh. Yeah. Oh. We can't fly because of your staff <gasps> Airplane. shortages. Don't you done, give me the bullshit. Are you done yelling? Are you done oh, yelling? No, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What's yelling face? gonna do? They're getting oh. called tomorrow. I work yeah. for a bunch of lawyers. Okay. And they are getting and called you, in you your really head think, office. Do you think that I'm intimidated by Oh, no. I don't give a shit what okay. you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> you don't stop swearing. You're not traveling. Really? Wow. We're not traveling anyway. I want I want a refund well, and I want a rebook. Make sure that you don't travel at all if you continue Oh, to I don't give a shit. Okay, great. Mm, well, that's nice. Ooh, you know, go, I mean, guys, like, let's be real. Call your lawyers. Call your lawyers. What? We're just employees. You think I make the rules? Call your lawyers. Like, that's ridiculous. Two, I, these people who freak out on airplanes and stuff, like, you know for a fact that you don't have control of the situation. And that might be a sad fact, but that's just the reality. Like, you're not gonna win the fight by yelling, by swearing, by throwing a tantrum, by spitting on people. Like, do you really think you're going to win? Like, just shut up and get to where you need to go. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how you gotta bite your tongue sometimes. Pick your battles. Are you serious? How am I going to What's scam him? He hit me. What is your problem? No, You're just being an asshole. Look, where's the damage even on her car? Dude. Maybe that? That, that is not bad. for me to decide. That you don't know what she did inside? What if she hit it? How am I pulling the scam when she hit me at a stop sign? How am I pulling that scam? You have her ID. I'll give yes, you her phone number. I, I don't insurance. want to turn in any insurance. Is that I want you Her to have guy. your guy call me and I'll go and we'll look at the damage and then if it's needed, I'll give you the insurance. Well, how about you give me insurance thing. and I can call you if something's wrong with it and we can figure it out. Wait, what? Okay, so the, the younger girl that we can see in the purple leggings, that was her car. She hit the woman who was at a stop sign. So obviously she's in the wrong because the woman was at a stop sign and you hit her. Is this her dad or something? Like, who is this man? Like the woman who was driving the girl didn't even say anything. Ugh, I don't know. Weird. The arrows just go this way. Point of view, you go to Castle Island with your way. family in 2016 and there's oh, no parking. <laughs> <laughs> asshole, no. I don't oh, know what me. I didn't believe it. I just... oh. Oh. Do I need to call the police? Oh, I love this. <laughs> okay, watch. Let me see. That no. But they can't get out anyway. They can't get out. Lady, you've got to move to the side so people can get around here. Oh my gosh. 
What is happening? I'm sorry, but I love this guy's energy. That's what my wife keeps telling me. <laughs> like he's being so sassy, but nice at the same time, like killing her with kindness and sarcasm. It's the best revenge, really. That's bad business, that's bad for business. Oh, oh, <gasps> oh. Can you go, ma'am, please? Give me my keys that have my name oh on them. Oh my God, go, they're please? trying to climb Give in the car. Give me my keys right. and I will let, I will back off. Can you go, please? <laughs> Why does he have her keys? Give me my keys. Can you please go now? Like you're being mad annoying right now. <laughs> I cannot. Some of these like one-liners is a vibe. You being mad annoying right now. Like that's the story of my life. Do you know how many times a day where I say that people are annoying or that's annoying? Like people, people suck. People are annoying. There's also really good people out there, but like they're still annoying. You can still be a really nice person, but be annoying. That's my rant of the day. People are annoying. Now you're you are breaking federal oh, law, federal go. civil law. I just, just want you to understand you're you're a younger generation than I am. I can't believe you want to live in a country like oh this God. where people cannot board a flight oh, without we wearing a mask. That's breaking know. civil law. Okay, I understand. Oh, That's what the said that's right i just followed the order so i just want to educate you Lindsay. you seem like a very nice girl and um i just want to let everybody know because you know i stand for what i believe in and this is uh, peggy hall from the healthy american ew, ew okay blog mom like leave me alone that is so annoying okay did we not just say she might be a very nice lady with a successful uh, human blog.com whatever great good for you but you're being annoying okay you're being annoying do you want to live in a country that no do you think people wanted to live in a country that had donald trump as their president some of people did but a lot of people didn't we don't get to choose karen cheapers you think i want to live in ontario with doug ford lock and everything no i can't just move to the u.s it's not that easy uh, not that i'd want to but actually i would depends no one cares i'm out of here you guys before i go on a sassy rant and become an entitled person myself i'll see you in another video i was your host with some just bear bear with us while we film from home like i said we're in a lockdown yay <sighs> yeah bye Life is annoying, man. I don't care what anyone says. Life is annoying. I'm annoying. That's the thing. We can all admit that we're all annoying. Like, I'm so annoying. I don't know how people watch my videos. I don't know how my editors watch my videos. I don't know how people date me. Honestly, I'm so annoying. But so is everybody else. Everyone's annoying. Y'all, I know you're gonna see a lot of freaking backgrounds happening for all my videos. You're gonna be like, what is this girl doing? Where is she? I'm redoing me, redoing. I need help. I'm redoing my filming setup, so I'm trying things. I gotta do this wall. I gotta figure out the lick. Trust the process, all right?